for Utah's most accurate forecast with Caesar Corneo, weather rate certified 10 years in a row. All right, it is September, which means we should be cooling things down, right? Mm-mm-mm, Caesar. <laughs> well, Glenn, Emily, are you guys ready to see a little bit of a cool down? Well, this weekend might be your weekend. We're expecting to see that today. The heat still hangs around and even parts of tomorrow, but the smoke will also start to see a little bit of some relief. So again, southerly flow is going to bring in quite nicer air for us. And on top of that, a good m amount of moisture, which does that mean we're going to have a wet weekend? Some of us may expect to see some showers and I'll explain in just a moment. But taking a look here outside in St. George live, we can see that monsoonal moisture making its way in very dry lower levels, so while we do have storms starting to pop up, not all of them are producing rain towards the ground. So a lot of us are seeing some shower activity over here towards parts of eastern Nevada, southwest Utah, all terrain based. So again, the higher elevations are what's causing the rain to pop up for us right now. But don't be surprised if in parts of St. George and Washington County, we see a little bit of rain hitting the valleys. Again, seeing some of these storms being a little bit on the stronger side. So we're not expecting to see a ton of rain, but rain is possible. So that's a much welcome relief, especially in southern Utah, where we were just so hot yesterday. And we continue to still stay hot here in Salt Lake City. Take a look at that for the next few hours. Hazy skies continue. We don't really start to drop to the lower 80s until about 9 p.m. Looking at smoke, though, and what that monsoonal flow does, look at that. It really helps break up all of that old steel. Smoke gets us a little bit on the clear side, and that means great air quality ahead as well. But again, shower activity because of that monsoonal moisture will consist will stay persistent for us towards parts of the west here for tonight. And then tomorrow starts to shift a little bit more towards the east as this high pressure system continues to move on out. And going into Saturday, we could see some shower activity also by the later parts of the afternoon. But again, they're going to be very hit or miss. We may, someone may see them, some may other, some may not. But taking a look at St. George's seven day forecast, we're expecting to see that we're going to have temperatures hanging around that 100 degree mark for the next few days and plenty of sunshine going into the weekend and even into the next work week as we remain dry. And for the Wasatch Front, we're also expecting to see a little bit of heat still hanging around as we have temperatures for tomorrow in the mid 90s. Temperatures will range around the 80s going to Saturday and Sunday. Again, isolated thunderstorms are possible for Friday and Saturday afternoons and evening shouldn't affect the game but just keep an umbrella in case there is some shower activity. But going into Sunday, starting to dry out Monday as well as we have zonal flow, really helping us keep on the drier side and temperatures much more mild for us as we continue.